Got it. And I got speed. Okay. We good? Okay. Uh, well, congratulations, and it's great to see you again. You too, Bonnie. And uh, first off, what are your earliest memories of Batman? Um, I actually collected some of the comics when I was a kid growing up in Ireland. Um, we didn't get the TV show. Didn't have a TV. Um, but but myself and some of the mates collected those comics, and, and Batman most certainly featured in them. What was it about this script that just pretty well must have blown you away, I would think? I, I was, I, I, when I was sent it, I read it with hesitancy, you know, but within like three pages, I thought, okay, this is something very different. Uh, for me, it just, the script just operated and worked on so many levels. Um, and I ended up believing how this very rich dude called Bruce Wayne would put on a funky weird costume and fight crime. He, Christopher Nolan takes you through that process and it's like, yeah, I can believe that. And I always find it, I just found it amazing as I was watching it that nobody in all these years had thought about giving Batman a backstory. Yes, and I always, that's what always troubled me about the past uh, movie versions always i thought mm, i'm not interested in that i want to know why this guy dresses up in a weird costume what what motivates him to do this you know and i think this film delivers that in spades Absolutely. as well as giving you all the thrills and spills and yeah, stuff. yeah exactly now tell us a little bit about descartes and, and you know where, where is this guy coming from and how did you take him on what did you do to develop it well i think he's a uh, a mysterious sort of guy. I think he's a citizen of many cultures. Uh, I think, even though it doesn't come out in the film, I think he's as rich as Bruce Wayne and has access to enormous, enormous uh, funds of money. Uh, and he's um, like Bruce Wayne. He wants to defeat evil and corruption in the world and has developed uh, a way of doing that yes without revealing too much exactly and he is extremely strong i mean his presence on screen and his physical abilities are beyond belief tell me about your preparation yes. for that because you know we saw you in kingdom of heaven you had some scenes we saw you yes. you know a few years ago in star wars you're again a mentor here we are right. like this one whoa yeah. real physical preparation must have been involved i think yeah we had to do a lot bonnie actually and, i mean i i keep i keep very fit anyway but with this one we had to uh, we had to learn a new fighting technique called kz fighting technique, it's a martial art form, and uh, uh, some sword fighting too, of course. And uh, So it was just, we had to do it every day, and it had to be quite intense, and I have a few set twos with with Christian, Christian Bale, mm -hmm. and uh, so every day Christian and I were learning some new fight, and, uh, but I love doing that stuff, that's, that's real, real fun. And, and fighting on the ice? Yeah, that was particularly scary. Um, we shot it in, uh, I forget the name of the, the glacier. It's, it's Europe's biggest glacier, and it's in Iceland. And, this, and we shot on this frozen lake. And the glacier moves, I think it's something like six inches every day. Uh, but when you were on the ice, you would hear these cracks. And I mean, it's, it's, it's the weirdest sound that, Mother Nature Max. It's like quite terrifying. And we, so we'd all have to leave the ice. And these experts would come on and let the ice settle. And you could actually hear it breathing just as it settled again. And then we'd creep back out on the ice and fight again. And mm. then we'd have to get off again. And it was pretty scary. Yeah. It really well, was. It but there's no CGI off. stuff. It's like, oh, that's, that's Mother Nature. It was lovely. It was a great, great scene. Now, Christian Bale. He is spectacular in this film. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, you know, wh your impressions of him, what really just knocked your socks off about this guy? He's, um, he's, he's, he's made that journey, you know, from, from nerdy, rich kid Bruce Wayne to someone with a real conscience 
and a real has gone through a real emotional journey and uh, confronted his weaknesses and his guilt um, and he, he absolutely delivers and it's a really fine performance I think why is he the perfect Batman why did it work for Christian why not it you know for well, you, what do you what did you see in, in working with this man he's, he's intense and um, uh, he's uh, he has a real sense of who this Bruce Wayne man is or was, um, and he was, uh, you know, he gives a good, he, he, you know, when the camera's on him and he, he has a real, he certainly has a presence and he's always thinking, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing superfluous or bland about him, you know. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think when you saw him in the bat suit for the first time? That was pretty. Well, you know, we have a we have a set too. You know, first time I saw him, and I was like, oh. I mean, I remember thinking, oh, poor guy, because it was the middle of summer, and he had he had little little holes in his costume here for to let the air in, and it was like a constant stream of water, of sweat, just pouring out of him. You know. It must have been so uncomfortable, and to be fighting in it too, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it did look very, very impressive and very intimidating. Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Yeah. And you didn't get to ride in the Batmobile, but did you get to kind of just touch it and get I inside did. of it? I touched it. Yeah, I'm sure my kids were in it and stuff. I'm, I'm not terribly into cars, but it, it was pretty impressive, you know. I think that's the coolest car I've seen on screen in yeah. a long time. And it's parked outside the hotel there, I noticed this morning. Very neat. Now, let's also talk about this phenomenal cast. I mean, you are surrounded by, you know, oh my goodness, you know, I Michael know. Caine, Gary Oldman. What was it like, you know, old home week on set? I know. It's unfortunately, I had no scenes with any of them, you know. Uh, most of my stuff was with, with Christian, you know. I would love to have done some with Gary and Morgan and <laughs> Michael, you know. I love that relationship, actually, between Michael and Christian, uh, the butler and, and Bruce Wayne. It's very, very moving. Yeah. It's like a real love story there, you know? Oh, can totally build on that. There's no question. But, uh, but an extraordinary cast, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. Christopher Nolan, I mean, kudos to him for pulling off this film because yeah. he must have been so nervous to take on a, a project like this. Well, what, what, what are your impressions of him as a director? You've worked with so many phenomenal directors. If he, if he was nervous, he didn't show it. He just uh, seemed, you know, he directs in this very, very kind of laid-back style. And, you know, for someone who's only made like three movies, it's uh, his... Uh, his knowledge and uh, his uh, his way of operating on set was extraordinary. And he's one of the few directors who's actually beside the camera when you're shooting it. He's not in some back room looking at a bank of monitors, you know. He's there watching you do your stuff, you know. Uh, I was very impressed with him. and uh, He's an exceptional talent. He really is. And because he had such a clear vision for this film, I mean, obviously, you know, as I was saying, he, he did it his way. <laughs> There's no question yeah, about it. Sure. But, but does he allow you to input into your character and, and give ideas? Oh, well, absolutely. He wants collaboration. But this script was just so fine. It's, it's, there was very little crossing of T's and dotting of I's to be done to it, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, you know, of course he wants your, your input and... You know, he's giving and has put 3,000% into developing this material. And all he wants from you is 100%, you know, which is very, very easy to do, given uh, it's, it's just, it's great just to read words that, that are not only make sense, but have a reverberation and have a, have a richness to them. It's, uh, and every scene in it just was...